Hi, my name is Bill Mould. Many of you know me because I use a knowledge of physics and mechanical engineering toward bicycle wheels. But I also taught organic chemistry in a college in Northern Virginia for many years. A part of one of my lectures involved the chemistry of excessive partying. And my goal in sharing that with you is to help you understand what happens when you consume alcohol and hopefully to help you avoid a catastrophe and a tragedy. Alcohols are a type of organic chemical and there are thousands of them. Ethyl alcohol is the one we will be talking about. Ethyl alcohol, also known as ethanol, is found in bar drinks like uh, whiskey as well as wine and beer. We will look at three scenarios. The first is you have one or two drinks. The second, many drinks over time. And the third, very many drinks in a short time. I would like to think that you could enjoy this without becoming like this, or even worse, like this. I will first show you a few slides about chemistry but then we will quickly transition to some graphics where you will easily understand the concept. Don't be scared by these structures. I will hold your hand as we go through this discussion. The first on the left is ethyl alcohol, then acid aldehyde, and then acetic acid. Ethyl alcohol has the alcohol group, acid aldehyde has the aldehyde group, and acetic acid has the acid group. Using this container as an example, we're going to see what happens when we put ethyl alcohol into our body. From there, it is metabolized into acid aldehyde and then into acetic acid. And from there, broken down into some smaller chemicals which are excreted with urine. Some enzymes play an essential role in the first step. Alcohol dehydrogenase is critical for converting ethyl alcohol or ethanol into acid aldehyde and in the second step a combination of acid aldehyde dehydrogenase and something called glutathione which is uh, developed and excreted from the liver. So what happens when you have just one or two drinks? The alcohol is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream. From there through the action of alcohol dehydrogenase the alcohol is converted into acid aldehyde and then very quickly thereafter in step two into harmless acetic acid. So with one or two drinks, your chances of feeling good shortly thereafter and the next day are pretty good. So what if I have many drinks over time? Not surprisingly, I have a larger amount of ethyl alcohol in my bloodstream. In step one, that ethyl alcohol is efficiently metabolized into acid aldehyde. But in step two, I find myself with a dwindling concentration of acid aldehyde dehydrogenase and particularly glutathione. So some very poisonous acid aldehyde lingers in my bloodstream longer than I would like it to resulting in me being potentially fairly intoxicated and possibly having a bad hangover the next day. As bad as that is, very many drinks in a short time is far worse. Here we're talking about drinking straight whiskey, either straight out of a bottle or a shot, which is the same thing. Many of them lined up and we are tempted to have one after another. And I will tell you that it is possible to consume a lethal amount of alcohol before it even starts to affect you. Now my blood alcohol level goes very high very quickly. That's not a problem for step one, which very quickly starts converting that alcohol into acid aldehyde. But the problem is that acid aldehyde is a very serious and powerful poison. The chemicals needed for step two become increasingly depleted and step two slows down. 
until we end up here with no ethyl alcohol remaining in the bloodstream, but now a lethal concentration of acid aldehyde, which cannot be metabolized. And you end up here. Body weight has an effect on the metabolism rate, which is not surprising. Heavier people have a larger volume of blood in their systems, and so they can tolerate more alcohol than people who are very lightweight. Your problems are added to because alcohol is a powerful dehydrating agent. And for women, your blood level concentrations of the chemicals and enzymes needed to metabolize alcohol are lower than a man's of the same weight. I am not telling you that you should not drink alcohol, but if you do, you should be aware of the dangers, particularly from binge drinking. If you think it might be beneficial, please help spread the word to young folks who usually are the ones who get into trouble without understanding what's going on.